Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, uh, my name is Steve. I started this YouTube channel this weekend called Rusty Wrench Restorations. Uh, basically, the channel is going to focus on uh, me and possibly some of my friends and our our adventures, if you will, uh, going out to find rusty relics, right? Um, I bleed green. I'm a John Deere guy. I love all tractors, International, Ford, you name it. Um, but most of the content that you're going to see on here is John Deere tractors, just uh, nature of the beast, right? So anyway, the focus of the channel is going to be finding these things, whether they're abandoned in the field or, you know, have trees growing through them in the woods, um, whatever. Um, so it's going to be videos of us pulling these things out of the woods, getting them loaded on the trailers, getting them home, um, kind of doing some troubleshooting, figuring out what's wrong with them, what we need to fix. Um, and then there's going to be videos of taking components apart, maybe rebuilding a carburetor or a final drive on a, a bulldozer. Um, who knows? A variety of different things, right? Um, we'll go over some, some general mechanical type things, really, that I think will help anybody and everybody. So even if you're not into tractors or um, if you don't like John Deere, oh my God, whatever. Um, but anyway, there's hopefully something instructional or useful for everybody in these videos. I like to have fun. Um, I like to joke around. Uh, I did 24 years in the Navy. I'm a crusty, salty sailor by nature, and you're probably going to hear me cuss once in a while. So I'll try to keep it somewhat clean, um, but, uh, but I do want to have fun with it. I do want to reach a broad audience of uh, viewers, right? So it could be your kids to, you know, uh, your grandparents. Um, you know, there isn't going to be anything vulgar. Uh, I don't talk about politics, religion, uh, you know, racial things, nothing like that, right? So it's pretty much clean, clean, fun video. Um, and, and again, it's mostly tractor dri uh, driven. Um, we are going to go over like tool stuff, right? So I had this uh, oxyacetylene setup that I got from a buddy of mine a few years back. I used it once in a while. It comes in super handy for uh, cutting metal. You can weld with it. And really the big thing I use it for is a rosebud torch to heat items, right? So you have rusty nuts and bolts that are hard to get apart. Heat them up cherry red and they come apart pretty easy. So um, I just bring that up because I just went and had my bottles filled um, this week and uh, I realized that because it's such an old setup the hose was kind of cracked. Um, wasn't too sure the condition of the regulators. I mean the last time I used it it worked pretty good but um, when it comes to oxygen and acetylene like safety is paramount right. Um, you will see me do some stupid things but uh, my life is very important to me and my family I think. So uh, when it comes to safety type things, I do want to make sure I have the right stuff. So I went out today, I bought a Hobart kit. Um, it's got a new hose, new regulators. It's got the safety by, um, check valves, you know. Um, so you'll see that stuff in use. I'll probably do a quick video on like uh, basic welding. I mean, I got a, a Lincoln welder here. It just plugs into your typical household outlet, right? It's nothing big, it's nothing fancy. You don't need a 220 outlet for it. Um, but it's great for doing stuff around the house, right? So, I don't know, patio furniture, or, you know, a uh, bird feeder, you know. Um, but it will do almost up to about quarter inch steel. So, um, you know, your typical angle iron, those types of things. Um, so anyway, I, eventually I might do some videos on welding or uh, cutting, um, just general tools and their uses, right? Um, all kinds of stuff. So um, anyway. I appreciate everybody's support so far with this. Um, it's like a mind blowing experience, right? Like I just did this, I think the first video I recorded was last Saturday when we went to go get the crawler. And then this weekend was kind of like, all right, we'll get it moved to the side of the house and let's see what else we can do, right? And wow, what a learning curve. I mean, um, you know, I'm using my, I have a little Android phone, it's nothing special. I have a, a cheap little selfie stick tripod uh, thing I got on eBay. Um, so, you know, um, this is all new to me too, so I'm just trying this out, seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, I've gotten a lot of suggestions from friends and family and whatnot, and I do appreciate that. Uh, constructive criticism is welcomed all the time. Um, I did order some microphones so that you don't hear a lot of the stuff going on around, you know, my neighborhood. Neighbors using a router or kids playing, birds in the background, whatever. I know it can be distracting, so... Um, I got some mics, so hopefully that'll help with the sound quality. Um, the first two videos, I did a lot of um, 
I tried to do some editing to try to just play around with the program and see how things work. Um, some of it's kind of goofy, some of it's funny, some of it I just won't do again. Um, trying to learn like overlaying music with, without having to worry about copyrights. Um, you know, there's, there's just a lot to it, you know. I mean, it's easy to get on YouTube and watch a video and um, it just blows my mind how much work it really is, you know. Um, making sure that everything's getting recorded and, you know, there's so much I missed. That first trip when we went to get the crawler, you know, we hit the curb with the, the trailer and blew the tire out, you know, and I should have been recording that. So lessons learned. I'm taking notes. Um, I hope that they will continue to get better and better as time goes on. We'll see. Uh, if you enjoy it, watch the videos. If you think it's stupid, hey, you can hit that unsubmit or uh, uh, un unsubscribe button. Um, you know, ain't gonna hurt my feelings. I can't see who subscribes and who doesn't. I just see numbers on my end. So, um, but feel free to comment, have fun with it, watch them, don't watch them, whatever. Um, this is not meant to be a source of income for me. Uh, it's just to have fun and kind of document some of our experiences. Um, you're gonna see me wearing like old dirty ratty clothes. I mean, I have cabinets here that are full of old pants and shirts and you know, I'm not gonna come out here in my good clothes and crawl underneath the tractor and get hydraulic fluid dumped on me. So, you know, you're gonna see me in ragamuffin attire, uh, nature of the beast. I don't, I don't wanna mess up my good clothes. So, um, you know, I'm not like poor and I can't afford to wear nice things, but you know, when you're working with dirty tools and equipment, it's just the way to go. So, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll try some different things. We'll see how it goes. Today, I think I'm just gonna do a quick time-lapse video. I'm gonna go out to the crawler and kind of start taking some things apart. Um, I don't wanna have tons of like 20 minute videos that you're like sitting back falling asleep to, right? Um, so you're gonna see a lot of shorts. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of things where I might do some like, you know, the, um, uh, the funny faces or funny noises or whatever, you know, I, I wanna make it fun. Um, my kids are awesome. They um, give me lots of good ideas. So anyway, we'll see where this thing goes. It may not go anywhere. I might do a couple more videos and end it all. I don't know. But um, we'll see. We'll try to have some fun with it. But uh, I am trying to improve. I'll try to get some better gear. Again, I'm doing everything on my phone. Not only just the recording, but the, uh, the editing and uploading. And um, it's a lot. So I think eventually I'll probably get a laptop and, uh, you know, maybe some better software to try to uh, have some more options and better better effects so um, I think the sound was a big thing you know sometimes when I flip the camera it goes from being like really loud to not loud um, I've been recording the high-speed videos on my phone in like a, it's called hyperspeed um, and unfortunately there's no sound with that so some of those videos it gets kind of boring because it's quiet so um, today's video I'm gonna do that hyperspeed thing again but I'm gonna put some sound to it or some music or something to make it a little more entertaining. So anyway, that's enough. If you know me, you know I could talk um, my, your ear off and go on and on forever, especially when it comes to tractor stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna stop here, but I do appreciate everybody giving me a chance and uh, checking out the videos and hopefully you learn something, maybe you get a laugh. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.